but moving on from there i believe after kind of experimenting in your early 20s there was a time when you had a moment and you had an experience that kind of changed your mindset or maybe that strengthened your uh, entire uh, reasoning of you know or the purpose of life are you able to take us through that incident yeah, yeah. i'd love to so um th- that incident for me is what led to mindly studio so um yeah i was uh i was 22 at the time and uh i, I finished uni i was working uh in a corporate job in a marketing team um I was learning a lot and uh, it was really great being part of a big team and um, doing lots of different kinds of job. Uh, I mean, tasks as part of the job, but there was always something missing for me. And um, yeah, I wasn't really happy with um, with my career. I'm like, is this all that there is? Um, I mean, it's still at a pretty early age. Uh, there was definitely a lot more I could learn and progress, but it was more the emotional um, sort of, sense uh, and the meaning and uh, purpose behind it so um yeah N- natalia and i we uh, we both felt the same way especially when the um 2019 2020 bushfire season happened we we just um were like what can we do like what can we do to help uh, with the um, disaster that was happening around australia and we we really wanted to do something to help because we felt helpless um, by not doing anything so yeah we sort of had that moment and we're like all right we need to do something better with with ourselves and uh, have a more meaningful career so we didn't have that much experience um whatever experience is in that sort of sense so we just started brainstorming what can we do uh, with the skills that we have uh, is that uh, so natalia uh, has the design background i have the marketing background and we thought, why don't we work with other companies to help them with um, design uh, and uh, be able to impact them uh, through this approach that we really value, which is the human-centered approach and by putting people first. So, yeah, it was a really challenging time. And uh, we both had those limiting beliefs that we're both too young and uh, we don't have enough experience. And we started rationalizing this uh, scarcity mindset by thinking, look, we're really young. Uh, we don't have any sort of big expenses or um, any sort of lo- uh, mortgages or anything that's holding us back. So we're pretty young. We don't have that many risks to take. Maybe this is actually the best time to try and see what this whole journey is about. So yeah, we <laughs> we sort of took the plunge and we, um, yeah, we quit our jobs and started Mindly Studio like that. And yeah, the, yeah, it was definitely um, the hardest part. There's limiting beliefs, and uh, it was very challenging. But um, yeah, we're very grateful to have started, and uh, it was also very hard. Uh, pretty much right after we started, COVID uh, became COVID. <laughs> so um, yeah, there was a time when we weren't making any money. COVID, uh, we were in those strict COVID lockdowns here in Melbourne, and yeah that was very challenging but then um yeah we sort of uh we we did this like seminar uh from tony robbins and and we learned um it's called unleash the power within and we one of the biggest lessons i learned was that in business um like success or whatever you want to call success is mostly 80 percent psychology and 20 percent strategy or 20 percent actually doing things and it's all about your mindset and being able to be confident in yourself and having the right mindset to push through the difficult times. So yeah, it, it wasn't easy and it's still not easy, but the challenges are very different now than they used to be. And um, that's, yeah, that's that little story. 